final flight. The Navy's 817 squadron will also be de decommissioned at Nara tomorrow. A young East Timorese man has been given a second chance at life thanks to an Australian medical team. Marciano Bello was said to have the heart of an 80-year-old due to childhood rheumatic fever, a problem which continues to afflict many in developing countries. He's smiling now, but Marciano Bello was a very sick man. Through a bedside interpreter, he tells how severe heart disease affected his everyday life. It caused him with nose bleeding, and, uh, dizziness, and breathless. So sometimes it caused him to fall over. Now 25, experts say he had the heart of a much older man due to childhood rheumatic fever, an inflammatory disease that can, among other things, damage heart valves. And that's exactly what it did to Marciano. Cardiologist Noel Bailey identifying him as a candidate for surgery during a field trip to East Timor. Rheumatic fever is rife in East Timor. It's extremely common and, and uh, I examined him clinically and it was obvious that he had uh, two valve disease, that if he hadn't had his valve replacement done he would have died of heart failure probably within the next few years. The ill man was flown to Australia with the help of the East Timor Hearts Fund to be treated at Melbourne's Monash Heart Centre. That's where he had the affected valves replaced with artificial or mechanical ones. The two valves on the left side of the heart, what we call the mitral and the, the aortic valve, they're the inlet valve and the outlet valve to the left ventricle. And these are the, the valves most commonly affected by rheumatic fever. The recovering patient will have to take blood thinning medication for the remainder of his life. The medical team involved in Marciano's care say they've seen hundreds, if not thousands, of cases of rheumatic fever in their work overseas in countries like Fiji, Vanuatu and Papua New Guinea. Marciano has thanked his helpers. He says he's now happy and wants to return to school to help develop his country. He feels like he has a second chance of life. All going well, he should be home by Christmas. Alan Rascal, World News Australia.